Okay. All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, we left off. Today is the Daf Kufe, or Kufe in the Mesach Shabbos. We left off um, on the top of uh, two lines on the top on Kufe, Amad Aleph. So, Kosovo Yisachas, no, three kun, Rabbi Shua, Ben Maseir, Machai, V'chayim, Paitrim. So, one who goes ahead and writes one letter, but the letter is actually used as an, as an abbreviation. So, if you use an abbreviation, so it refers to something either a one word or multiple words. So, as Machlekes, Rabbi Shua, Ben Maseir, says Yechai, because the meaning of it is multiple words. And Chaim Yisai, Ben Maseir, only wrote one letter. Therefore, one letter it does not constitute um, does not constitute writing. And Amr Rabbi Yechon, Shir Rabbi Yisid, and Zimra, Menai Lashon Nitri in the Minat Torah. Where do we see that Nitri is used in the Torah? And by the way, I have background noise, so if you can't hear me, I can go inside. Just let me know. So Menai Lashon Nitri in the Torah. Shin Amar, as the pasuk says, Ki Av Hamon Goyim. So it says that there, Av Hamon Goyim, referring to Avram Avinu and the Satiho. All right, I've made you Av Hamon Goyim. What does that mean? Av. So the word Av actually stands for two things: Av and Satiho Umais. Right, I've made you the father of the other nations, and I've made you the chosen one of the other nations. And Hamon, right? Hamon is also an abbreviation, right? Referring to multiple words. The hey is actually interchangeable with the ches. In other words, Hamon is chaviv nasati chabiomos, right? I made you chaviv. I made you dear. Um, the the bumos melach nasati bumos. I made you a melach. I made you king. Vasig nasati bumos. I made you distinguished. And Nema Nasik Lomois, and I've made you uh, uh, believe or uh, faithful. So all these things are is actually um, an abbreviation for all these things. That's why it says Afama. And Rabbi Yechran, Didei Omar, Rabbi Yechran himself says, No, Anoichi, that which you said in Sarah Sadibros, right? Anoichi Hashem. So over here, actually, Anoichi is not Rikun, right? That's also an abbreviation. Ana Nafshi Ksivas Yehavis, right? I myself wrote this and I'm giving this. That's Anoichi, referring to the Sarasadibas and giving the Torah. And Rabbanan and Amri, Rabbanan and similar say, Amira Ni'ima Ksiva Yavva. Right? And Amira Ni'ima, very sweet and pleasant uh, um, saying, I wrote and I'm giving. That's referring to Anoichi. And Ika Dami, some say, Anoichi Lama Freya. Anoichi is actually, goes backwards. Yavi Ksiva Neman Amri. Right? I've given you something in writing, that which is. Uh, you know, I, I, which is believed to be uh, said, right? Which is truth and said. And the Beir and us and Imran, they say, Ki yarid lenegdi, right? When the, uh, the the donkey spoke back by Bilam, it says, Yarat, what does Yarat haderech mean? It says, Yira rasa nakta, right? So he saw, right? Uh, or, or feared, I saw, and then I turned, turned to the side, so that Yarat is also an abbreviation referring to three different words. And the Beir, Rabbi Shmuel Tana, Carmel, it says it there by the Aymer, it says Carmel, Carmel, right, a full cluster, something which is full. That was referring to what should be brought for the, uh, the Omer offering. Rabbi Acha, Bar Yaakov, Amri, Vuhu, Kulani, Kalola, Nimretzis. So it says over there, there's, hey, there's a Pasuk in Malachim. It says over there, referring to is the, a curse of Nimretzis. What is Nimretzis? It's a Nitrogen. Naifu, right, the, the nun is means the adulterer, Moab, he's the Moab, right, Seach, he's a killer, Sorahu, Toivahu, right? So he is somebody, he's, um, uh, what's it called? So he is uh, Sorer, right, Toivah, he's a uh, abomination, and Sorer also, uh, I guess, a derogatory term, right? Sorer, let me just, Sorer uh, is, sorry about this. So it says over there, I guess he's a Sorer going the wrong way. So, um, sir, what is it, sir? Uh, he's enemy, right? So, right. So, he's enemy. He's the enemy of the, uh, uh, of the people, and therefore, that was a derogatory term, and that was also a uh, an abbreviation. So it says it there by the brothers, right? The, uh, what should we? What can we answer regarding Yosef? So he says, So the word needs tzadik was referred to this. Now they were they they were sadiqi they were stand they, they they were upright they were pure they were innocent and they were they you know they were kadoshim that was their response so that was also once again abbreviation so we see that abbreviations are used in the Torah finally so the last mishnah of the parak and I mishnah hakaisi beisayis here so we actually referenced this a little before one who writes two different letters which they alamos 
and two different moments of awareness. In other words, he wrote one, he became aware, he remembered it was Shabbos, oh, I can't write, should not write anymore, forgot it was Shabbos again, and then wrote another letter. So, Achas, Shachris, Achas, Ben Abayi, if you wrote one in the morning and one in the afternoon, Rav Gamliel, Machayev, and the Chavim Paishim. Rav Gamliel says, Yechayev. He says, Yechayev, why? Because Rav Gamliel holds, as we see the Gemara, right? Uh, we'll, we'll, actually, we'll explain the Gemara. And the Chavim say, Pater. So, Gemara is like the Gemara, so my commitment. What's the Machlekes here? Rav Gamliel suffer ain Yadil Achatzi Shir. Now, in order to be Pater, right, or to stop, or to, to separate, you have to be aware of what you did. Now, he is aware that he wrote on Shabbos. But can you be aware of when the writing was not a full writing? In other words, you only wrote one letter, which is a half a shear. The minute half of it is a, it's not yet the minimum requirement. So if he realized that he only realized his transgression after a chazi shear, maybe that's not considered a idea. In order to know something, you have to know you did a malacha. And he didn't do a malacha yet because he only did half a malacha. So therefore, it doesn't count. So my committee, there is no idea of share. Therefore, it's it's not like he realized there was Shabbos in the middle. So therefore it's one con- continuous moment of not being aware it's Shabbos, and therefore the tomb starved, and therefore he's chayev. And then about and suffer, ye should be the chatzishir. No, once you realize it's Shabbos, then there is considered idea, and therefore you would not go ahead and combine the two sivas, and therefore um, you would say he's putter from bringing a karma. So now the next parak. So we start the thirteenth parak of Ha'arik. Malotov, Malotov. Malotov to all. So Rabbi Yezer Aimer Ha'arik Shleisha Chutin B'Tzchilo. One who goes ahead and he weaves three uh, uh, threads when he starts a uh, when he starts to weave. Or let's say he's continuing, something is already woven, and he goes ahead and he, he weaves in another one. He is chayiv. person is chayiv for already weaving. That is one of the um, malachas. Now, weaving basically is done. You have the warp strings that, that go across, and the, the threads go over and under, and, there, and, and multiple threads go over and under, and that's how it you know, creates the, um, the, the weave. No, it's always whether it's the starting one off or whether it's existing, it's always two strings. And I said, stay batinirim, If one who goes ahead and he basically makes two of the batinirim, batinirim are basically where the, 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 the warp threads go into, right? That's in, in front of him and behind him, the ones that go right long. So those are the ones that uh, if he goes ahead and, and he puts him in the Batinirin in the heddles or in the heddle of Batinirin in the heddles itself, and the Bekirois, the Nafa of a cover of, of a zebra, or he goes ahead and he attaches it basically to a basket or a sieve, all these cases he is kind of for setting up the warp strings, uh, which goes into the heddle in order to go ahead and, and, and set it. So by setting it, that is also a malafa. If you go ahead and you do two of them, that is the minimum shear. And what the Gemara will explain. And Hatoifer Shay Tfiroy, one who goes ahead and he, and he sews two uh, uh, threads, then he's Chayiv, Bahakari Almanas, lead for Shay Tfiroy. So also tearing, tearing, but once again, tearing has to be done in a constructive manner. So normally you tear something, you're destroying it. So how do you do something in a constructive manner? When you tear something for the purposes of re sewing it differently, re sewing it properly, therefore that would be a case of doing it constructively and therefore that is the case if you tear something the amount to go ahead and to sew up two threads then that's the minimum shear of tearing in order to be a chayim. Let's see the Gemara. The Gemara now explains the mission. So Kiyosu Rav Yitzchok Tana Shtai. So when Rav Yitzchok taught he taught two threads for weaving and that I Vana does not shlosh. I we say Gimel right there's three of them. So like Asha Hoba Limi Hoba Ketim. Right, one is if it's thick, if it's thick strings, or versus thin strings, and which which way is which? So I'm the high gisa, I'm the high gisa. So some say for this way, and some say for that way. How so? I'm the high I'm the high gisa alima tvaso loisasri. Some say when thick ones, if it's thick and you have three strings, then it won't come apart. However, trace sasri, but since they're thick and and it's only two of them, it will come apart. 
However, Katini, but if it's thinner threads, then train amyloid then two also will not come apart. So therefore, in such a case, maybe you say that if you weave less, right, with thinner strings, you'd be high because that would, would stick around. And some say, I mean, some say the Hagisa opposite way. Katini, uh, Talasa, if it's small, then Talasa Yadi, Trelo Yadi. If it's very small, thin, you won't really be able to see two threads if they're woven. But if, if, uh, but if it's uh, uh, three, you'll see. But two, it's too small to see. However, if they're thicker, wider threads, then Trenami Yadi, then even if you see two of them, then you'll be able to recognize it. And therefore, according to this opinion, right, or this version of saying it, that therefore one would be high for thicker strings because uh, with only two and not three because those are more noticeable. Fine. Satani with the Raisa. Ha'oireg shleisha chutim b'tchila. One who goes ahead and he weaves three strings uh, to start off. Or ve'echad al-arig or something is already partially woven and then he goes ahead and he weaves another string through. Then he is chayiv. Then he is chayiv. And the chayim maimrim and the chayim say, whether it's uh, uh, whether it's starting it off or it's an existing uh, baga that's in the middle of being woven, as long as it's two, then you are chayv. And if it's on the edge of the garment, all you need is two threads, which are as wide as three buttonier, as three of the 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 holes that the, the, the called the heddle eyes that the the strings go through on the end. So as long as you have three, uh, or excuse me, two strings that are in the width of three buttonier, then you'll be chayv. And why such a small shear? It's a cotton one who goes ahead and weaves a small belt. And also in that case, it's two threads with the width of Three batinirin uh, with the three, um, excuse me, the three head eyes. Fine. The Eirik Shlesh Chutin Bechila. Thank you. The Eirik Shlesh Chutin Bechila. Ve'achad Ari Chayiv. And that which we said, right? Which in this brayso, which uh, the, the opinion you hold that if you're starting off a bag, you need three threads. But if you're adding to one, then you're the only Chayiv even for one. That is stomach to Rabbi Eliezer. That is like Rabbi Eliezer. Which we saw in our in, in our Mishnah, and we have another bias is tiny idach ha'areg shnei chutin alagas. One who goes ahead and he weaves two threads into a, an existing garment already, of al imra, or on the edge of another thing. Chayiv, he is chayiv for adding two strings on it. Chayiv, so he is chayiv for doing two. That is dependent on the chamim and Rabbi Eliezer. I mean, afilu echad if it's adding to an existing one, Rabbi Eliezer says it goes to Shitaso that says you also go ahead even by adding one. The Safa, it's on the edge. Once again, we say, we have two threads that are, uh, that go with, and the width of three patinirin, he is chayv, and the halam is a daime, why is a small amount? Because that's the amount basically that could be used on a small belt, which are two threads upon the width of three uh, of the uh, head lines. Stomach rabbon, and that which we said, as I explained earlier, that if you're even if, it's, if you're adding to an existing, so it's not one that's uh, that's according to Rabbi Yezer, adding one, but who says you need two? That is the chamim who say you always need two, whether it's you're starting off or whether you're adding to an existing garment. And so he said, one who goes ahead and makes two batinirin, right, two hadalai uh, my by benir. What does it mean? Benir and rabbi. So tarti bate nira bachad the benira, right? So it says over there that you take, if you go ahead and you take the, uh, the rope and each thread goes around two times around the loops, bachad the benira, and then one around the, the rope itself. So in other words, I guess the system, uh, I guess it was done, um, is that the, so the first two times went around the, the, the string itself by, by the, the head of loops. And then the third time, the Pamshlishis went around the, uh, the rope, it, uh, the rope it, uh, the, I guess the, the thread itself, uh, in order, to, and that was called to make Shte Patinir. And other, and five, two dots. So now we said over here, uh, one second, so the key was. So he says, what is, so this case of talking about uh, uh, the kiros, so one who goes ahead and puts on the kiros, so my the kiros, I'm a rab, 
Mitsubisa. That is the frame that one goes ahead because they would, what they would do is they would take a, basically a wooden frame which would hold up multiple strings and therefore they can make him go up and down in order to weave him multiple strings at a time. So that was if one goes ahead and puts the, the strings into the, um, one goes ahead and puts the strings into the, the frame, that is also a malacha. Is that basically a loom? Yes, right. Okay. Um, and then we say, now one goes ahead and tears, uh, so we already wrote this earlier. We had this earlier by by Avos Malachos. We already taught that. Why is it repeated here? So Mishum the Kavoy. Let me say it because we want to say the same. But Hakari Almanas Litvoy. One who goes ahead and tears on the condition to go ahead and sew two strings. I based Tvios Tani Nami Hatayker Hakari. We already said this. One who goes ahead and and sews and tears and sews. Hanami Tani. We also thought that be Avos Malachos in the case of Avos Malachos, and we taught the different Avos. We also mentioned. Tearing and uh, um, and sewing there. So why is it mentioned here? El mishum the kavi lemisni seifa because we want to say the seifa hakare bechamayso as we'll soon see the next mission when we get to the top of uh, Amun Beis where it says hakare chamayso val mayso one who goes ahead and tears in anger or he tears uh, for mourning mishum hachi tori that's why it says in this case hatavir sheitvir so yes we don't really need to teach us the malacha of tearing here that one is chay for as long as it's amount to sew. Why? Because late in the next Mishnah, we're going to be teaching that one who tears for other purposes, such as out of anger or over or, or, or out of mourning, that person is put. So one who tears in the condition to go ahead and sew and, and sew up for two strings. So how do you find this small area uh, that he's for, for two strings? So the avda kiksisa, right, where it's made. Like a big uh, pocket, the the bag head. It's uh, therefore he goes ahead and tears and is able to go ahead and now stitch in uh, two stitches. Fine. Let's see the next mishnah. Hakare b'chamayso. Now it gets a little easier. Hakare b'chamayso ivalmayso. One who goes ahead and tears out of anger, or over um, over a dead uh, for a dead body out of mourning. Uh, the call makalkid and anything which is done in a destructive manner is potter. And have a manas lusakin. And one who goes ahead and is he tears it uh, on the condition to go ahead and uh manas lusakin. Shira kumasakin. And one who goes ahead and basically destroys something in order to fix it. So the the amount of that that which is destroyed is the amount that basically is needed to go ahead and to fix it. So in other words, if I'm doing it to sew it. Then it's the amount I need to go ahead and sew for Shabbos in order to be um, to be chayv. And shear hamalabin and shear manafets. What is the shear for for whitening or for manafets or uh, or combing about saveya or dyeing about tvi or spinning? Kamali rochav hasit. Right is the amount that the width of a hasit. The seat is basically between your two fingers, like this. The distance is called a uh, seat uh, in order for one to be uh, chayv. And kafel, uh, 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 excuse me, kamale rachav asit kafel. In order to basically the the the, the double size of a width. But arik shnei chut and shira kamale asit. Well, one who goes and weaves two strings, its measurement is uh, asit. So even though we said you have to do like earlier, we were talking about weaving two strings, and it still has to be the distance of using two strings, the width of a seat, which is you know a couple inches. So let's see the Gemara. Now, the Gemara says the first case of one who goes ahead and tears for his mace. I, so he said one who goes ahead and tears for a mace is putter. He's putter because he didn't do anything constructive. He's just tearing, right? Which is in a, in a destructive manner. It's not constructive. So therefore, the person should be his putter. So I, for me, I say, Kasha, one who goes ahead and tears out of anger or in his mourning or for a dead person. Chai, he's chai. Direct, uh, um, uh, direct uh, conflict, right? With uh, our, with our Mishnah, our Mishnah says Potter, and here it says Chayiv. However, even though one is Machal the Shabbos, even though one is uh, violates his uh, the Shabbos, Avishu Machal the Shabbos Yatzidei Kriya, he has fulfilled his obligation of uh, mourning by. By, by tearing. So what's the answer? Like Kasha, Habamaisdi Dehavesdi Alma. 
if it's his own dead uh, person that he has to mourn for. So therefore, since he's, he's obligated to go ahead and tear, so therefore that which he tore, right, is constructive because he had an obligation to go ahead and, and tear. And therefore, since that's such a case, his mace, Therefore, he since it's constructive, therefore he be chayev. I have a question. Yeah. Sorry. So tearing is different than cutting, right? I mean, we're we're not talking. I, I, we never even talked about cutting, but uh, sometimes I see in uh, shiva they take a little blade and they cut it because they can't tear it. So that's a different malacha altogether, right? Cutting. No, that's it's the same thing. It's it's I, I guess I mean they just use you know. I mean, they cut or they tear. Really, you should tear. I guess they cut just to make no, it No, you easier. should tear. I, and, and, and if it's not Shabbos, then I, I don't think it's a problem to cut. But I'm saying, like, the actual, you, it's, a, it's a different malacha to cut. And one of the no, other no, malacha, it's, right? It's the, it's the same malacha. It's, it's all together. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're, we're, now we're, we're determining now whether it's Pantor or Chaya. Because, uh, right. Now it's because, be, right. In other words, because if you're tearing, is that, it, it ha, in order to be Chaya for malacha, it has to be in a constructive manner. So how do you ever find tearing and can be constructive? So well, we says, just learn right, if you tear uh, to fix. Because, right, right, if you tear to fix, oh, right. But then the case of mourning. So we have a case of mourning, uh -huh. says Pater, and, and the other one says, you're chayib. So what's the difference? So one is the case when he's an obligation to tear. Since I have to go ahead and tear or, uh, over my relative, so therefore it's constructive. So since mm -hmm. it's constructive, that's why I'm chayib. But if I'm just tearing, for, if I hear someone dies and I tore my shirt, that's destructive. Therefore, you're never high for destructive. Therefore, you'd be pacha. And that's what I'm just talking about. It's a non-relative. Mm -hmm. It's not his mace. Um, so, have a mace, have a mace, have I have a mace. But if you look at our mission, it says mace so, his, his, his relative. So, the other of a mace d day. Really, you're talking about the maze today. Really, it is his relative. But maybe it's his relative. But the, those people, he's not obligated to go ahead and tear for I be chacham who chayiv mechayiv. But if the person was a chacham, then he is he is chayiv to go ahead and tear kriya. The tanya that we learned by said chacham shemes. If a tamar chacham dies, hakol krov of everybody is his relative. Hakol krov of so that I said everyone's his relative. El ema hakol krov. Everyone is like his 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 relative. How so? Hakol kori no love. Everyone should go ahead and tear kriya for him. Hakol choytzei no love. They all reveal their shoulders. Part of the morning, and I call Mavri to love Berachov, and all should have the mourner's meal out, you know, uh, 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 outside and, 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 and right in the, in the street in the open way. So they should go ahead and mourn him just like everybody else, because the Tamil Chacham is basically a loss to, uh, you know, every single person. So Gemara says, so if the person's a Chacham, then is an obligation, it's an obligation, then he should be chai for caring. So let's see the love Chacham. It must be the person who's not Tamil Chacham, be Adam Kashu, but if the other person's Adam Kashu, he's also. I'll get to do it. What's the reason why we find that one's sons or children of a person die when they're young? In order that people should go ahead and cry and mourn for a, an Adam Kasher. So Lord says, What do you mean? In order that they should go ahead and cry, are you like punishing the person right uh, uh, before uh, he's you know, are you punishing a person? Right, that you're taking from. So why are you making him cry? Right, Avona Shakli Minei. Are you taking, you know, some sort of collateral? No, he didn't do anything wrong yet. So you're going to go ahead and make him cry. So El Mipnei Shaloi Bacha. Rather, what does it mean, means to say? El Mipnei Shaloi Bacha Visavel Al Adam Kasher. Rather, the person's children, right, Chas Shalom, would die at a young age because this person did not mourn properly over an Adam Kasher. One should uh, uh, over another Adam Kasher. So since he didn't go ahead and. Uh, um, mourn over somebody else who died. It was an Adam Kasher. Therefore, perhaps God has shown me to be punished by being mourning over his own uh, what, what, does, what does that mean? What does that mean to mourn over an Adam Kasher? Do you have to go to their shiva? Do you have to, like, uh, go to their shiva? Right. You, you, right. Shekol, this is the next case. Shekol habaychel Adam Kasher. Whoever goes ahead and cries and mourns over somebody who is an Adam Kasher, Meichlin lo al kol Right? You forgive him for all his averos. In other words, Right, because of the honor that you gave him. In other words, if you give one honor by if, if, by mourning over somebody, right, the, the someone who died. So therefore, since you're mourning over that person, therefore this showing that you know that therefore you know you're not punished. We'll see later on that one who does basically go and is not you know uh, 
brought to tears when it doesn't mourn and just goes there and does not really mourn and feel the loss, then really he's, uh, he's held responsible. So Gemara says, Okay, it must be that the person wasn't Adam Kasher, and therefore, since he wasn't Adam Kasher, he has no obligation to go ahead and tear it. However, if a person is standing next to someone and he dies, but he's right there in the room, he actually is obligated to go ahead and tear it. One who's standing next to a person as he's dying, he's to go ahead and be correct to tear his clothes. To a sefer Torah that, that burnt. So my answer is light. Sicha the light kai bishas itzias neshama. Fine. Now, so it must be talking about the person not standing next to. So in other words, when is rechiv an obligation? Either it's his relative, it is a talmud chacham, or he's an adam kasher, or he's next to the body. But if it's not any one of these categories, then the person has no obligation to go ahead and tear. And therefore, if he does go ahead and tear. Right over somebody that he heard died. He heard Kobe Bryant died, and he tore over his shirt over that. That is not constructive, right? And because there's no obligation to do it, and therefore he would be putter for tearing on Shabbos because there was no use. So Gemar says Tinachmi. So what's the definition of Adam Kusher? Uh, Adam Kusher, uh, an upright person, an yeah, upright uh, person. Right. It, it doesn't. doesn't really... Rashi doesn't get into it. Yeah. <laughs> It, so wait, wait. The person who helped others and he was following the Torah. That's what right. it is. Oh, oh, like the you guys have. Like Meir, like Meir. Like Meir cousins. No, no, like you. Like you, you <laughs> Okay. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around this, Rebbe. Because, uh, again, yeah. because putter, you're only putter if it's destructive. You're, you're high of if, if it's constructive. Is that what you said? Yes, right, which is like a little opposite of what you think. In yeah. other words, because it has to be a, a meaningful work. If I do something that's not meaningful, then I'm putter. Malacha, doing work on Shabbos is defined as doing something meaningful. So if I'm doing something that's meaningless, right, I, 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 I carry something, I carry a piece of trash. So you're carrying a piece of trash, you're not doing anything, right? You're, just, you're, you're carrying lint, right? That's, that, that's nothing, you're not doing anything. So if I tear something that is not constructed it's not done for a right purpose right for any purpose then a putter all right so the Gemara says Tinach Meso okay so we had a contradiction when it says in, in a, between our mission and the Brisa of a person's dead body so El Chamaisa we also talked about anger right one who tears in anger right so where do you see anger how can you answer the anger El Chamaisa Chamaisa Kasha Chamaisa Kamasha so Chamaisa Chamaisa Namil Kasha maybe you can say no anger is not good it was not a contradiction. Once it's been a Rabbi Yehuda who holds that one would be chayif even if he tears out of anger, and the other one is Har Rabbi Shimon who would hold these potter. Har Rabbi Yehuda Dama Melacha Shein Tzich Legufa Chayir Rabbi Rabbi Yehuda says even though it's Tzich Legufa he just gets angry and he tears therefore he be chayif. Har Rabbi Shimon Dama Melacha Shein Tzich Legufa Potter and Rabbi Shimon would say Melacha Shein Tzich Legufa is potter. Allah. So Amy the Shmuel said the Rabbi Yehuda be masakin, but wait, that which Rabbi Yehuda said, he's only talking about a case of where he does doing something constructive. The makalkel mi Shmuel but has he ever said that even doing something destructively, right, for another purpose, but being destructive, he would be chay. So Rabbi Yavin hay nami kemasakin, right? No, a person is really he is considered to be masakin, right? Who the kavod nachasurich liyitzro, right? Because he's he's actually being masakin because he's actually. Um, you know, uh, I guess you know, fighting here. He's he's basically giving into his yitzhara and now basically causing his yitzhara by by giving into it. I got like such case. So the guard says, no, he's causing his yitzhara to cool down, to stop, to slow down. Therefore, uh, maybe it is constructive to stop his yitzhara. So the says, oh, chai gavn mishar is that mother? But tani lunar by sir shem ben elazar emir mishum chilfa ben igra shem mishum rabbi yechem benuri hamakare begod of bechamaisa. One who goes ahead and tears. His clothing in anger, or uh, or he goes and he breaks his utensils in his anger, or he goes ahead and he throws his money away in anger, right? he's in disgust, he acts you know, crazily. It's like in his eye, in your eyes, like worshiping idols. Why? Because this is basically the way of the Yitzhar. Right, today he pushes you, okay, do this. Tomorrow I'll do a little more. Lamacha I'm gonna say kach and do a little more. Ad shaimer lo avur avur zara until it tells you go ahead and do avur zara. 
And then he goes ahead and he finally listens to it. So now if you give in, you give in. So in other words, you shouldn't even give it at all. You shouldn't give in by your anger, right? You shouldn't give in and tear your clothing. So that you shouldn't do it. So Amr Avin, says, man, uh, it says Rabbi Avin. So my crowd, what's the possibility? He says, Lo el el right? You shouldn't have a for you shouldn't have within you, Lo in you, all right? A foreign God, and you shouldn't bow down to another God. So let an okay Ezer so Ezer Elzar Shish Begufo. What is that God that one has in his body? Shall all them have you? I'm here. That's the That's the Yitzhara. So now the Yitzhara is basically like another God in your body. So you shouldn't give in at all, right? So what do you mean? Oh, I'm just giving to the Yitzhara to cool off, right? No, giving into the Yitzhara at all to cool off is no good. So when it says like Tzicha deka Avid lemirma emasei. Right, I should base it. No, he's actually sometimes anger is good, right? You go ahead and you yell. You cause fear for those in your home. Those in your home fear you. Kiha de Rabbi Huda, like Rabbi Huda, Shalif Matzvaisa. He also, so he went ahead and he basically tore his clothes, right, to show his anger. So those in his house, right, the, you know, would, would, would listen to him. And Rav Achim, Yaakov, Tavir, Mani, Tivri, he would go ahead and he threw this, something that was already broken. He, he threw a broken dish. Rav Sheshis, Rami, Lei, Leimsei, Munia, Aresha. I guess he took some, the fresh bride. And he threw it at his uh, at his maidservant's uh, head. Rabbi Avi Tovar Nichtama, and he uh, Rabbi Abba broke, I guess, the, the cover to a pitcher. Broke the cover to a pitcher, and that makes the person uh, in such a case, you know. So all these causes anger to show people in the household. So therefore, they feared him and they listened to him. So therefore, there was constructive anger. So perhaps constructive anger, one would be chayiv for it. And whoever goes ahead and has tears, right, and mourns over a Adam Kasher who uh, who passed away, Hakadosh Baruch Hu Hakadosh Baruch gathers those tears and collects them and puts them away. Shinamar Zapasik says, "Naidi Safrasata Sima Demasi Benodecha Halod Pisfasiyecha." Right, Hakadosh Baruch Hu is basically taking your. Uh, taking your tears and put them together and count them in order that I guess they should work for your benefit to see that, you know, you mourned over another kosher. And Amar Rav Yudam Rav, whoever is lazy when it comes to the hesped of a, of a chacham, right? In other words, he doesn't probably mourn. He's, he's, he's not interested. The person is fit to go ahead and bury during his life. says, so it says over there, when they buried Yeshua, right, they buried him, uh, 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 they buried him out there. And why do they tell him exactly where, where, where they were? It's in the mountain want to basically go ahead and, care, uh, and, and kill them and destroy them because they weren't mourning properly. And also, once again, whoever is lazy through the hesped of Chacham, he will not have long days. It's the Pasuk says, Besasa b'shalcha trivena. So the exact amount when you uh, send her away. So in other words, when you go ahead and uh, you send her away, so that amount what you do will be taken. So everything is gets you know uh, uh, measured exactly, and therefore a person is not he does not eulogize and is, is lazy over somebody else, and he himself will his will, his days will be cut short. And Eisve Rabbi Chia Barab and Rabbi Yechanan vayev do ha'am es Hashem kol yimei Yoshua v'chol yimei azekinim Hashem harichu yomim achar Yoshua. We see over there that all the days they, they, uh, after Yeshua, the, 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 the Zakadim lived all longer. It says over there they had long days after Yeshua. So we see that even if they, 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 you know, they were lazy over his, his mourning, we see they lived long days. So he says here, right? It means that their, their, their days were long, but who says their years were long? What? It says, in order, the Pasuk says, we'll, we'll give you long days. So it says only your days will be long, but you won't have long years. No, that's promising you long life. So we see it, promising life. So no, the Pasuk says, no, bracha shani. When it comes to a bracha, give me a bracha. That means both days and long life. But that which we say by the Zakein and by Yeshua, since they didn't mourn properly, they only had long days, but they did not hear, have long years. And finally, if you have one of the brothers die, one should be concerned that perhaps he will follow. Uh, all the brothers should go ahead and concern. And or if there's a chabura, 
right? A, 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 a group of people, Shemay, so one of them dies, Tito Kola Chabura Kula, because perhaps, you know, those others will also pass. It was like the same thing, and therefore everyone else should be concerned. And now we some say the Mez Godel, some say the, 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 the biggest one or the oldest one or the greatest one is the one that dies first and then all his fat, uh, uh, follow afterwards. For Ramelan, some say the Mez Cotton, some says the, the uh, if not, if the, the smallest one, right, the youngest one dies, then others should be worried. I will stop here at the two dots. So Sunday, Mirza uh, Hashem, uh, 7 o'clock Chicago time. Everyone have a wonderful day. and.